All right, uh, Joe Klecka, member of the third, Sub-13 Club now. How do you feel about that? Good, man. It was definitely my goal today, and so to go out and get it done really meant a lot. Yeah. And with second in the race behind Woody, he gets the American record. How do you feel about that? Yeah, I mean, honestly, it's great for him to go get that American record, but I was just so focused on myself breaking 13, and when he went by me, there was nothing I could do. I was, I was, I was cooked, so... For him to get the American record, that's great, but I was really focused on myself breaking 13 and uh, just taking control of the race and not letting it slow down or uh, at like 3K, 4K. How long, that, how long had that been a goal for you? Um, I would say probably since about January, early January, once we got back to Boulder and started getting on the track and the, the hard workouts just kind of started coming pretty easily. Mm -hmm. And we kind of figured like, wow, we're, we're pretty fit right now. So let's go to Boston and try and see if we can get under 13. And for Yared, try and you know, get low 730. For him to run 728 was just incredible. Yeah. So we, we saw the, you know, the mile that you guys did over the weekend. But who's typically coming out on top of these workouts between you and you know, the American record holder in 3K and everyone else? Yeah, I would say that although that looked like it was like a race, uh, we're very controlled in our workouts. I would say that there's no heroes in the workouts. We're honestly, it's usually just a pack of six of us rolling together. And um, it's hard to say if anyone comes out on top. I think that we're all just helping each other get the workout in. And I think that's why we function so well together. Yeah. Have you ever done anything close to that in terms of that quick a mile in a workout before? Not in a workout. No, we did a time trial. Me and Ollie a few years back, we were broke before, but that was an actual time trial. This was supposed to be, I mean, we were originally Dathan originally rode out 408, and then he rode out 406. Our workouts, we just kept getting better and better, and so Dathan's like, all right, we got to go 406. Mm -hmm. And then we get to the track that day, and he goes, all right, guys, I think we're going to try and do 402. And we're on the warm-up talking about, like, this is ridiculous. There's no way we can do that. And then we ran 357. So, um, yeah, we've never done anything like that in practice, but I think we had to to be able to have a, a performance like we did today. Yeah. So you were up by about a second and a half on Woody at the bell. Uh, we know he's known for his kick. Are you thinking that he's still coming for you? What's going through your mind at that point? Honestly, I was just so focused on that sub 13. With the lap to go, I needed a 37 second 200 to break 13. And I was questioning whether I could do it. My legs were so heavy. Um, I was close to just falling onto the inside of the track. After the race, that's the most I've ever like almost uh, blacked out. I was like almost unconscious. And so I've never really pushed myself like today. That was a pretty heroic effort. And so honestly, I didn't even, I wasn't even thinking about Woody. When he went by me, my only thought was, I can't let this ruin my last 100 meters. I need to just keep on it and I can break 13. And so that was really just my focus. Mm -hmm. And what does the rest of the winter look like for you in terms of training so, racing? So I'll probably do Milrose in two weeks. Um, we kind of said if I break 13 minutes, maybe not do Milrose and just get ready for the 10K. But that's something that me and Dathan will talk about. But the big thing is the 10K. Uh, it's on running. Yeah. Uh, was it difficult for you guys to turn down the opportunity to run USA Cross or World Cross? So originally that was our plan, was World Cross. And then we saw the standards come out and it was just like, the 10K is right after World Cross. I don't think I could run a 100 degree 10K in Australia, travel back. 40 hours or whatever it is and then be ready to try and break 27 because that's the new standard so it was hard to turn it down especially to go race in australia go see where ollie's from i mean that would have been so fun in morgan but at the end of the day it's just the standards are so hard now that you can't just show up to the track and do it you got to really attack these standards yeah all right uh well joe congrats on breaking 13 and uh thanks for the time